What's up mga kap? We have another question from um, Enrico Angelo Tabio. Sir, I'm an um, international trained registered nurse, 48 years old, working as a registered nurse here in UAE for 11 years. I have an EGA, IL-6 band overall, and I have a pupu pants. Please help! Ayun. So that's our first question. So if you're ready, let's begin. What's up mga kap? It's me, Kap Joey of Wedding in Halifax, the founder of Cap Unity Canada, an immigration agency and a licensed recruitment agency together with my partner, Ayan po mga kap. So we are still in uh, Toyoras. You can see po mga kap at my back is the parking space. Naglalakad-lakad lang tayo dito. Um, as you can see po mga kap, naka, naka sweater na lang tayo. Hindi tayo naka winter jacket. The temperature right now is not that cold. It's only I think 10 Celsius. So hindi siya ganun kalamig. Um, maganda na yung weather. I can consider this na sakto lang. Para sa akin, mas maganda ang weather kapag medyo sunny, di ba? Pero hindi mainit. But right now po, mga kap, I'm in the parking space. The reason why I'm walking around because I want to show you yung highway dito sa Nova Scotia. And of course, I'm going to answer um, Enrico's question. So, if you are a registered nurse, this video is for you. Because on this video, I'm going to share to you paano kami makakatulong sa inyo. Alright? So let's see the highway. So this is the store. That's a Toy R Us. And this is the back actually. So right now, I'm going to just zoom a little bit and show you the highway. Ayan. Yan po yung highway. I don't know if you can see it. That's the highway Pumaka. Ayan. That's the highway. Makikita nyo highway po yan. Ayan. And of course, this is the parking space. Okay. If you are driving in a highway, you're driving around 80 to 100 kilometer per hour. Ah, per hour. So why I'm showing this because I just want to give you some idea that if you have the chance to immigrate here in Canada at may pagkakataong ka mag-drive ng sarili mong kotse, yung bilis ng pagpapatakbo dito is around 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. And there are some highway also that you can drive up to 110 kilometers per hour. So, mabilis talaga siya. Ako, tubong naga, tubong bicol. So, I think my fastest um, drive, driving speed ko sa naga is I think 50 lang. No? Kaya nga, naga to Ligres, but it's around 200 kilometers Ang distance, inaabot ako ng mga 3 hours drive. Here po mga kap, 400 kilometers drive from Halifax to Cape Breton, it only took you 4 hours drive. Which is, ang distance niyan is Naga to Manila. Wow. 400 kilometers. So, iyan po yung gusto kong i-highlight. That's why I'm showing you the highway para at least may idea na kayo bago pa kayo pumunta dito sa Canada. Uy! Ang bilis pala ng patakbo dito. That's the number one. Number two, the parking space pumakap. Ang laki ng parking space dito sa Canada. And you can see pumakap, halos empty pa pumakap, no? Empty pa po yan. Um, there's two reasons why it's empty. It's either mahina talaga ang customer. However, uh, baka hindi pa lumalabas ang lahat ng tao. What I noticed pumakap, because right now, uh, the Nova Scotia, wala na siyang restrictions. You can go to the store without mask. Without social distancing, it's up to you. For us, as a family, our choice is to have a face mask and observe social distancing para sigurado. However, restrict, wala nang restrictions noong March 21 pa. So, Nova Scotia is open. So, wala nang restrictions, wala nang limit uh, pagdating sa restaurants so even the stores. So, it's a good news because right now, bumabalik na ang sigla. And you can see also, the number of people coming in to the store. Gaya kanina, di ba? Kami mga tao sa stores, even sa, sa grocery. By the way, nandito ako ngayon sa Toy R Us uh, with my family. Um, if you're not able to watch the previous video, I will put the link here, itong video na to. Panoorin nyo po mga kap. And of course, I strongly suggest to comment your questions on the comment section kasi malay mo. Your question will be my next video. Speaking of questions, we have Enrico here. Tanong niya, paano po ang nurse? I am a nurse. 
complete all documents, ready na rin pati proof of files, education credential, the language says is everything is complete. Paano po ninyo ako matutulungan or tulungan nyo naman po ako. So, if you have the same situation with Enrico, with education credential assessment, with the uh, group of funds, and of course, the work experience needed, and you are just missing a job offer, I strongly suggest to visit our portal, nandito, jobs.capunitycanada.ca and apply for CCA position. And please indicate in the cover letter that you have all the documents for EIP or NSPNB. Please indicate that you have a proof of funds, you have an IELTS, you have an education credential, and just put it in the cover letter so that our team in Community Canada is able to see this and forward this application to our partner employer. We have the biggest partner here, the biggest nursing home here in Nova Scotia in New Brunswick. And we are continuously hiring international educated nurses. So if you are a nurse, caregivers, or PSW in other country, I strongly suggest to visit this link, jobs.capunitycanada.ca, and submit your resume. Um, before you submit your resume and cover letter, please indicate that you already have all the documents, proof of funds, education credential, and IELTS, the language test, and so that our team will be able to identify that you are immigration ready, okay? So now, once you are selected, okay? Once you are selected by our team, what we will do is we will have an orientation. The orientation, you will be invited for the orientation. With the orientation, we will present to you the programs or pathways. We will present to you the options and at the same time, our services. So once we see or once we evaluated your documents, we will send you an email for an orientation invitation. From the orientation, you will learn the step-by-step -step process of Community Canada on how to achieve your Canadian dream. So if you are in Naga or Bicol or currently in Manila, I want you to join our global job fair this coming December 19 in Bicol at Avenue Plaza Hotel because we have an event. Event po namin is a global job fair wherein we will bring our partner employers. And once nandun ka sa global job fair na yon, magkakaroon ka ng opportunity to sit down for interview. Wow. At baka pag uwi mo, meron ka ng job offer. So I want you to visit this link, globaljobfair.ca and buy your ticket. So the venue for December 19 will be Avenue Plaza Hotel, Naga City. If you are in Manila, we will be in SMX Convention Center in the Mall of Asia on January 6, 2023. So I want you now to secure your ticket to Macap because it's an info session, information session from Miss Amelia Ajok, our licensed immigration consultant, and of course a job opportunity to Macap. So I strongly suggest to visit the link globaljobfair.ca and buy your ticket now. So, habang meron pa po makakap, no? That's the main thing with the, with the nurses. So, again, I'm going to highlight two things. If you are a registered nurse and you have complete documents, I want you to visit our job portal. It's jobs.capunitycanada.ca If you are in the Philippines and you want to attend our global job fair, it's globaljobfair.ca I'll put the link in the description below. And of course, you can buy your ticket and attend our info session and job fair. That's it for me today. Maraming maraming salamat for joining me on this video. Before I end this video, I want you to comment on the comment section. Maybe your comment will be my next video. And of course, Pumakap, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Maraming salamat.